help up the lion production. How you doing, buddy? Oh, hello! Oh, uh, didn't we have so much fun this summer? We did! Oh, look, we've had a lot of problems. We, oh, we had a lot of problems. Oh, we had so much fun. Yeah, do you remember the problems that we solved at the Taj Mahal? Oh, yes! I remember them all! And you know what? And we went to uh, the Grand Canyon, remember that one? Oh, it was quite grand! <laughs> and you know what else? What was the other one we went to? The Niagara Falls. Oh, yes! I fell down on it because I was lying around! Yeah, she were lying around. But it's a good thing we didn't put you over the falls in a barrel. But why? Because then you would have crashed and hurt your little lion head right there. Oh, my like one of those fidget spinners. Yes, with the fidget spinners. Reminder, no fidgetals. Yes, tell them, no fidget spinners. No fidget spinners. Yes, no fidget spinners. 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 Very good. Well, what's, what's going on? I hear all this crazy hullabaloo about a recess lunch shenanigans. Oh, yeah, we kind of did a shuffle on that, didn't we? So this year, this year what we're doing, Philip, is we are having recess before lunch instead of after lunch. Why? That's out! I hate that! This is confusing it's, for me! It's very confusing, but you know what? We've got a, we've got something in place that's going to make it all make sense, okay? But the reason why we did it is because we did some research and found out that if you do recess before lunch, kids are more hungry and they're more willing to eat all of their lunch. Oh, I love lunch snappies! I know what I hate. I hate having kids throw lunch out because, oh, I gotta get out to recess. Even though I really like that sandwich I was eating, I gotta get out to recess and play with my friend. This way, they can play first, come back in and eat lunch. Oh, that makes, that makes 100% sense. Makes 100% sense. And the second thing that we're gonna do, the second reason why we're doing lunch before, or recess before, is because after you come in from lunch, sometimes you've had a game outside and you had a hard time problem solving. So this way you get to calm down, eat with your friends, and then by the time you get back up to class, all, all of that anxiety has gone out and you're ready to focus and learn. Oh, that's what it sounds like. And we actually had a recess task force. We got a bunch of teachers together and we decided what we want recess to look like. So we have three reasons why we're doing changing our recess policy. Okay. You want to hear them? Well, I guess. Okay. The first reason is, is to improve your mental health. You know what that means? Uh, I, I have no idea. What the yeah, idea. That means... No, the tickle. The light. <laughs> <laughs> that means we're going to focus your brain so you're ready for learning. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's what recess is going to do for you. The second thing is, is that we're going to improve our physical health through movement. So we could do that song that Justin Timberlake has. All you got to do is just dance, 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 dance. You like that one? Well, I like it when he sings, I guess. Uh, <laughs> no, he sings a little better than me, sorry. Okay, so that's the, that's the second reason, to, to improve health movement, okay? And then the last one is to improve your social and emotional health. Well, these are all what? What does that even mean? Okay, well, well, that one means that sometimes when you come to school or... Um, when you're in class, you get more really anxious because you can't solve a problem, okay? And then you're working on math and you're like, I can't do this, Arrgh, and you get ang anxious. Yeah, just like that, just like that, anxiety. So what we're going to do oh, is we're going to take a oh, and we're going to calm down and learn that social emotional health. Oh. Ah, what, don't yeah. fall asleep, oh, don't yeah. fall asleep on this one. So yeah, that's, those are the three reasons why we want to do that, to um, improve mental health, to improve social emotional health and to improve improve physical health. So that's why we're doing recess first and then lunch second. Oh, very cool. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Would you recap some of the stuff from the video we just watched? Oh, like, yeah. More, I don't want to stay, I don't With our know. girls, yeah. We'll explain it. Okay, so when the bell rings at 11 o'clock, can you do a bell for me? Oh, that sounded like our cat claws. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mrs. Shake. <laughs> Mrs. Shake, she does a Okay, cool. so when the bell rings to go outside, and actually we don't have a bell, we just dismiss the kids. So at 11 o'clock, all of our first graders are going to go, hey, it's lunchtime, but guess what, we got to go to recess first. So they're going to walk quietly down the hallway, zero volume, they're going to walk in the hallway, and to all the way to go out door three, which is right by the playground. Door and then three. Door three, and they're going to go out. Door three. Door three, and they're going to go out. That's right. They're going to go out that door, and all of the lunch supervisors will already be out there. Okay? So they can go out, they can 
play and play, and then we're going to blow the whistle. We're going to say, time to line up, first graders. First graders are going to line up in a different spot. They used to line up over here by the fence to go back to their classroom. Now they're going to line up by the hopscotch because they got to go directly into the lunchroom. So that's right by door five. Door five. Door five. Door five. Door five. Door five. five. Yes. Hi, five. Hi, five. Hi, mouth. Okay, so door five, they're going to come in, and we're going to have our cold lunchers are going to grab their lunch baskets and go right at the door. Our hot lunchers are going to walk all the way around the LRC. And then there's going to be a pocket chart with all every kid's name in there. And if they ordered lunch, their card is going to be in there. So if they ordered a blue lunch or a gold lunch or a vegetarian lunch, all the cards will be in there. So they could just go up and go, hey, there's Mr. Gibbis, and I ordered vegetarian today. Woohoo! And I'm going to grab the ticket, go get in line, and then go into lunch. Cool! This I was so confused and freaking yeah. out. Yeah, and you know what? I think it's gonna be it's gonna be a little scary that first week. I think people are gonna probably get a little confused. We'll probably have to tell them, hey, remember, we're gonna do recess first and then lunch. And then at the end of lunch, what we're gonna do is our first grade teachers are actually gonna come down and get the kids to take them back to class. But our all the other kiddos, we're gonna have a lunch supervisor take them up to the classroom. So the third grade will go oh, one way, the fifth grade will go one way, the second grade will go one way, the fourth grade will go one way. Okay. Okay, so let me recap. Let's recap. Let's okay. we'll see what we got. So, I, when first we do the recess. Recess. Then, outdoor. Outdoor, we go to door three. Door three. Okay. Then we la 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 la. Play, play, play. Line up a new place. Yeah. And we go in through door five. Door five. Very and good. And then we do lunch. Yep. And there's pocket charts. Yep. And then we get picked up to go back to class. Who were the pocket charts for? They're for the kids. Which ones? Cold lunchers or hot lunchers? Oh, hot lunchers. Oh, very good. What if you're a cold luncher, what do you do? You go, you just go right into the Go couch right in, couch. right in. And if you're a lunch basket person, you grab the lunch basket, yeah. and bring them to your table. Oh, neat. Easy okay. peasy lemon squeezy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. It'll take a while to get used to it, but once we get used to it, it'll be awesome. And much better. Sounds cool. Okay, I got the boom now. Alright, bye Philip. We'll see you later. Bye! -bye. Many of you kiddos may be wondering, how is one of these really awesome Fill Up the Lion videos made? Let's find out! First, our team of writers creates a super good script. We pay them in chicken nuggets. Mm. Then I read the script to give it a pause up or down. Off to hair and makeup to be camera ready. We then film the video and I do a really good job. Then it is edited on Mr. Gibbs' super fancy new computer. How cool! Each video will cost about a million dollars to make. It is then sent off to District 45 storage until it's ready for the children. They watch it and then the end. We did our job and we, did our, we were super cool at it. Okay, bye.